Alright, alright, alright. So more more how it went, September of twenty thirteen for making a call. But you see since since it's been a ongoing thing and uh this fucking uh manipulation of my mouth and all that is just fucking funny. I don't know if it's a front or whatever they actually do believe I'm some kind of fucking some but anyways I called for a neighbor about you know I mean she was about to get um domestically sexually assaulted and then I didn't see any change and the police that came didn't know I didn't report there was another person so on the second time that's when they go oh okay and then I didn't see any change again or something like that what was it something like Actually, it was like that one time, and then and then it went and it went then it went to the four days in a row, and then it got confusing because on the third day, um, she, it seemed like she was uh, doing sides on one side. Which I do remember her uh, being happy about like saying, "Oh yeah, there's two people, and, uh, a lady, and then a." Uh, but since, since uh, I was kind of tired, I, I didn't really know what to make of that. Because it was like a month's worth, and then this one was like three days worth. And then, and then in that four, and then in those three days, whatever, those in a row, it was something peculiar. peculiar. We're fucking curious about how, pe how when we would do that, you would just hear a fucking dude like, like trying to frame me. To where even on the fourth day or the third night, he finally uh, he goes up to the Jack in the Box person and says, "Look, you could hear, you know, because they were trying to say, um, because uh, like say, you know, someone's married for, but not married. Or say something like passport, but you couldn't really say that, but no one would know. And then they would, you know, and you're talking to this person, and this person, and the guy, you know, just." lays it off like he was always all good you know to the outside world no one knows you would know that so I had to explain that but uh fucking but what threw it off was, was when uh when from the other night I didn't know if it was my neighbor who threw the voice when I started shit or or if it was someone else but then when I said that out loud that's when everybody started saying puta mara puta mara which is fucking all, you know, because they didn't know. Because I didn't know either, because I didn't see any change when I called. And, um, I think it's just because, well, well it was obvious she couldn't. Because there was more people involved within, within the close range. Oh, okay. And so I think that's where people got confused. And then the next day, like towards the daytime, and then when I finally called again, so this is like the eighth time of the third day, third today, like every two days from the other time, and then I, I got into the scope, and then um, he, he got took, but then got let out again, and then there there, tur there turned out to be like more. So that's when you know I you know, I, I want to be a deputy. That's kind of what we were saying, and then we ended up doing like a cop in the scope, a cop police. Um, training like in the head for like two days and then uh, from there I don't know and then it just went away and I called again the cops I'm like well, what's happening why am I still seeing and then uh, they visited and they just told me just get some rest you know she's alright because I did hear her voice asking for her son but I didn't I didn't I thought it was too personal, so I didn't even respond. It was like towards my bathroom too, because you could hear everything. Like previously, and then like two days after that, I called or something like that. Yeah, because that was like gonna be a night where they took. Where I heard my dad's voice and another voice, like how we used to do, like in Tagalog. That could have been fake. Cause it, it did 
sound like you know and I'm, and I'm knowing the differences within uh, manipulation so uh hers was like you know how like outside and you normally hear and there was way more witnesses out here so it, you know it's not no joke but uh then then uh so like, uh, like two three days after that you know you know a cop reassured me that I was some something with uh, this uh the puto thing that's what it was because uh three four nights in a row fucking there there were fucking three three different voices I would hear and then another three like all overnight and the cops were here the first time I seen them so I already knew they were already it was, it was crazy I just never seen that shit and then fucking after that I didn't see her and then I just then we went into a game and that's when I just figured the thought just came through like other other thoughts were coming in of like the scope thing which I do recall in 90s because I, I used to do kind of things like that I don't know it's kind of this is this is where it throws people off but and then I, I think that was getting hinted because we were connected and then uh by the time I'm I'm thinking at the same time well well maybe that's why they're haven't they haven't uh been arrested like these bodies because uh if there's a belief that there's other things you know other scopes or whatever people magnus in you or whatever that fucking could just help manipulate a body so it's just like i don't i don't know i don't understand that theory myself i just think that the fucking body's corrupt or you gotta fucking weed wash it or fucking take out some of the back doors or something i don't know what the fuck the point being is like when I said, well, just take tests, because I'm thinking they must, they must not know enough to where these people are fooling them, or something like that, and that's what it was, but the only concern about that is to, like, prolong it, when you're in the head, you can already tell, like, a lot of other things are going to get manipulated, evidence is going to disappear, so it's been since... September and now we're four months in like it's just obvious this happened. We went from Royal Guard to deputy to fucking all this other shit to calling out people, families. And this is in the game so I don't understand so like so many fronts. It was well fucking played. Fucking from mysteries that I fucking read and shit like it's just calculated but you could just tell it's just too well played like you know it's just what's that you know you get people that have something against someone and if they scope you and there's a way they could read your mind most likely they'll fucking try to talk and make a deal with each other and then you know fucking the same perverse eroticness they were fucking trying to pull is still continuing through other ways first from the outside and now and fucking just continuing to keep uh, keep it going so that just tells me it's the same people if it is like the homosexual community or those aggressive homosexuals and Bring your, you bring that community down, you know, before there was fucking bashing of that, you bring that shit back, but again, my theory is fucking, there's enough, I've, I've just went through Hill, Hillcrest, I don't fucking obviously fucking all that, but it's, it's not all like that with females and males, but there's enough of them that they could actually just start going out with each other, I don't, I don't know what it is, sadness or whatever, and you become possessed. Well, that's another thing. But that's what uh, it seems to be.
and I know the organization from like parades and taxing and all that to secret codes you know back from the raves you know fucking find a number scavenger hunting shit you know you find a number in this dumpster you know you, you get some you get a kid doing that like 11 12 they'll be like kind of with you for a while and that's where it could start to where they buy time they got so organized they buy time in fucking tv they're now they're fucking working a camera now they have enough money in their pool in a pool they're like the network got fucking big enough to where an actor feels like they have to submit to something or shit like that you know what I mean it could get it could get that big just because uh not enough people really knowing what's going on and how uh, manipulative and deceiving some people can be anybody who's willing to just to manipulate a child or fucking a male who fucking you know get aggressive on a on a female is just fucking that's already that's already way enough down to fucking trying to tell them what to eat and say you know what I mean it's like getting somebody out of sad times it's just so perfect timing you know if you're in the arts well, you know think about it you're gonna be pretending for a big while you're intelligent to just say I had enough of you know using my body part that's already like, how am I gonna not be this? So you had to get mad enough to fucking from your sad or whatever to just become something like that and then you just, or some shit, you know what I mean? It's always sadness, man. Always. What else is gonna fucking make you trip? And that's maybe it got to where it got trend and then it's just the, the the I don't know the fucking flathering <laughs> but yeah that's how I could, uh, you could see it when it becomes a trend you could you could totally manipulate someone like that at 12 give them a little bit of money you know something to believe in or whatnot fucking give them an excuse to shit on people and they might like it. If you're not one to like slap that hand and fucking make them say, no, that ain't the way. Then it could prolong for a longer time. Even in your 30s to, to your 30s and shit like that. 